loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. Dating in New York City can be hard and it's no surprise why so many of us go online to find our love. But at findyourfacemate.com, they've done things a little differently. Instead of taking all these surveys and personality tests, they match you on the science of your face. Now, I'm a little bit skeptical, but we are going to go meet the CEO, Christina, to understand the science and to see if your face could unlock the key to everlasting love. Christina Bloom is the CEO of a new dating site that hopes to be the new Match.com. But this site is a little different from the run-of-the-mill dating site. Bloom used her own experiences in love to create a business model for finding love. Using science to back up her own beliefs, she created a system online which would match you with someone using facial recognition technology. Okay, there are so many dating websites out there now, Match.com, okay, Cupid. Why did you start your site? Because as much as I think a dating website will be helpful to someone who's looking for, you know, someone to meet, um, I also think that they're not as helpful as they could be. Mm -hmm. And I started my dating website because of my own personal life. And I believe that people are attracted to people with similar facial features. And once I found out there's research and science behind it, I knew that I had to go with it. So, um, in my own life, I fell in love with someone and people would tell us that we were very similar looking. And that was 20 years ago and it started as just like, oh, this is very strange. The only time I've ever been in love and people are telling us we were similar looking. And I think it's because we had the same coloring. And I started looking at couples and I became fascinated. And the more I looked, the more I looked again. And it became very obvious to me that there was something going on there. The science behind Find Your Face Mate is based on the theory that people are attracted to others with similar facial features. Explain the science to me. Okay, there's actually a part of the brain called the fusiform gyrus, and it's located in the frontal lobe. And the, the only thing that part of the brain does is processes faces. Mm -hmm. So when we look at a face, we look at it, it, in, it in its entirety. And I believe there's a reason for that. We are actually mating as we get older and our hormones change. We're looking at that one face and looking around for our the love of our life. And that's, you so know. So it's actually something chemical in the brain that when yes. you see someone, Our eyes reacts. take it in, the brain makes sense of it, and the body releases hormones that make us go wild, basically. So do you think everlasting love is based on compatibility, physical compatibility? Absolutely. I do with every part of my being. <laughs> so, wow. But we didn't want to take Christina's word for it. So we found a girl who found love using the site. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us today. Sure, no problem. Michelle met Rich seven months ago on findyourfacemate.com. She said she was instantly attracted to Rich's photo on the site. And the yeah. science kind of behind Find Your Face Mate is matching the similarities in your face. When you first saw him, did you at all see any sort of similarities between the two of you? Um, I guess... I, I mean, not, not that stood out to me immediately, um, but I mean, not even because of like the different race thing, but it, it didn't stand out to me immediately. I wasn't like, oh, he looks like me, but <laughs> it was actually kind of funny because somebody who didn't even know how I met him happened to mention that we look sort of alike, and I thought that was kind of random. Now, would you recommend <laughs> this site to your friends, your family? Yeah, honestly, I, I already have. Um, it was just kind of funny because... Um, when someone else in my family had met somebody on Match.com, so people, I think, were more, I guess cause, because it's such a popular site. But I did tell a couple of people about it, and they were like, because it worked out for me, they were kind of more apt to try it. So um, a lot of my friends are already in long-term relationships, so they wouldn't necessarily try it now. But I have mentioned it to a, like, a lot of people because I think the idea of it is so fascinating, Absolutely. the fact that you're attracted to someone you look like, you know, you look like, and... So I recommended it already. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So you think there is a place for si uh, for science in love? Yeah, I really do. And it's funny because, you know, really, I think the one thing that changed is that I became open-minded to the idea of, like, new ways of meeting people and finding love. And look what happens, you know what I mean? <laughs>